Hello and welcome to Blender Video Tutorial number 5. In this tutorial we'll be discussing halos and some other effects besides glass. Okay, so top view we're going to go ahead and delete this default cube and add with the space bar, mesh, and UV sphere. I'm going to hit, I'm going to do about 16 segments and 16 rings. Okay. Scale this up a bit. We don't need to worry about adding the subserve modifier or setting smooth as in the last one for this tutorial. So tab key into object mode, go to our materials key or button, add new, and I'm going to make this a dark red. You can make it whatever you want. Okay. So here's our effects panel. We have our shaders, mirror, and SSS. Um, this is for like making things look really soft like skin and such mirror is the ray mirror is for glass effect ray transparency is for reflection and this is for like the light and how much reflection it can hold uh, the shaders are really cool we can do a lot here you have the tune and friends little tune you have to be you need to experiment around and read some forms on how to use that it takes a, a lot of tuning to get this to look just right uh, we have all these different shaders and you can combine these to make different effects uh, okay so for our first one we're gonna make this look like it's gonna be a halo it's kinda hard to describe uh, okay so under our links and pipeline which is this we go down and just click halo it's that easy and right here in our preview window we see that it's a halo these little balls are halo and in our object mode we will see that that they have changed into the little dots if we go into edit mode with tab key it looks the same but each vertice counts as that ha one of those dots in object mode so when you move these around see it changes in object mode okay so let's go and render this and see what it looks like Miracle Pad 0 for your camera and F12 to render. It's a neat effect. It's not that great, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so in object mode again, we'll just add something to this. Uh, we go back down into Lincoln Pipeline under Materials button. We can hit the uh, Z invert. Okay, and in our shaders, we notice something changes. Well, that changed before I did when I did Halo. Uh, we have hard uh, and add and Halo size. If you set the Halo size up, it makes it more fuzzy. See here, here it is with with it larger, and that now it's smaller. So we'll bring this up about here, and we'll set the hard down, or yeah, we'll set the hard value down and we'll add some alright and now we'll hit the Z invert it's a really cool effect hit 0 and we'll hit F12 to render and off those few buttons we've created this okay uh, let, me, let me render this again okay we see that there's blue all this blue in the background is called the world it's the background setting of everything okay we don't maybe we don't want blue back there maybe we want a different color so in our materials tab we go over to our subcategory in there and we hit the world button it's the very last button it's the blue with white around it okay so this is our world setting it's blue maybe we want this to be a greenish color we can set this one this is the, the first one is the uh, the change color for the the entire setting this black one is for fade ins like um see now if we render I'll demonstrate this see now we render this and it's got green okay and we come down here and we change this to it can stay black but just for this we'll change this to um a tanner and we'll hit real blend and paper so now we have this fade in uh we can change the fade in to a greenish so now I'll see we can take out paper or we can add it. We can experiment around. The reel keeps it from 
keeps from fading into bottom to top. From and if you hit rail, it keeps it to go from middle outside outside. So we hit F12 again. You see it's darker here now and lighter on the top. All right. There's some more effects that we can do with the world settings. Uh, we can hit the stars key. Okay. I don't know if you can see this on YouTube, but there's little dots everywhere now in the camera view. Not in object mode, but in or uh, user mode, which is outside of the camera. We go into camera and we have little dots everywhere. Okay, we can go ahead and render this and see what it looks like. Alright, so now we have little stars everywhere. Pretty cool. They're blank, they're white, different size. Alright, so let's give, let's add more stars. Where you see the star distance, you can decrease this and it'll jump more stars into position. Come up here, we can see more stars everywhere. Hit F12. You'll see all the stars have jumped in. Okay. So, even more to that, we can make uh, the size larger. And the very bottom one, which is the call noise, I think, or CLL, that stands for color noise, we can add this, we can increase this. You can play with the settings, and we hit F12 now. You can't probably see this on YouTube, but the stars have a random color to it. Looks like sprinkles. Anyways, so those are some settings for the world, and now it's a new effect for our object. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Maybe this will come in handy. Uh, you can play around with the halo settings under the materials tab, and even the shaders. Okay, next tutorial we'll get into a little more detail on creating weird pictures with regular objects. Okay.